Welcome back to the channel. If you're new to the channel, then welcome to the channel. What we got here is this awesome West Tone Thunder One, which was kindly given to me. Um, thank you very much indeed for this awesome gift. I believe it's uh, a 1982 uh, stroke 1983, but we'll have a look at it in a minute. Very, very cool guitar indeed, and one that I am going to keep and cherish along with uh, all my other guitars that have been gifted to me as well. It was given to me on the uh, on the back of the Guitar For All project that I do, which is a charity where I give away guitars to people that need guitars. For whatever reason, we just shipped one out to America to a young lad that lost everything in a flood. Um, and this was given to me to do with what I wish. I'm going to keep it, and in its place, I'm going to donate two guitars to the charity because I just fell in love with this thing. It is absolutely awesome. Uh, so let's have a look at the specs and I'll play some stuff for you. Right, I found this uh, cool little website uh, put together by fans of West Tone Guitars by the looks of it. And here is the guitar in question. Um, West Tone Thunder One. There was three different versions of this. So the first version, uh, 1981, um, doesn't have string through um, or body through stringing. Um, so it's definitely not that one because this one does. So if we go on down the version 2 according to this website has the uh, the through body stringing um, has a script logo which this one does uh, it, it, they're not sure about the serial number on this one it's on the the neck plate they're saying number on the back of headstock question mark they're not sure um, so I believe it's this one uh, and not the third version because the third version has uh, According to this, has the bird W on the headstock, and this one doesn't. It just says West Tone on the headstock. So I'm going with this one. We could look up the serial number. I might do that in a minute anyway, uh, just to uh, double check if I can find any info on that. Um, so specs are uh, we've got through body string, which we know. We've got brass knobs, brass nut, and bridge uh, with rear string retainer. I don't know what that means. If anybody can enlighten me, enlighten me what that means. Um, body is laminated ash, maple, and walnut, which is cool. Uh, neck is a three ply maple and rosewood fingerboard. Uh, so we've got it's a 24.75 inch scale, 22 frets. Um, do -do -do -do, two HF450 humbuckers, one volume, two tone controls, three way selector switch, and it's cool tapped. Both humbuckers are cool tapped as well, which is really cool. Um, the colours it came in, uh, light oak, which is this one, or light oak centre with black or red wings. Very cool. Very cool looking guitar. So, from the same website, they're saying, regards to the serial number, if it begins with a 2, then it is likely to be 1982. So that indicates the year, uh, which this one does. Alrighty, so here it is. Very beautiful guitar. It is quite heavy. I don't know exactly how heavy, but it feels Les Paul heavy. The uh, nut is uh, 43 mil, and it's really unusual to see a guitar with all brass hardware. Everything's brass. Uh, the brass nut is lovely, stays in tune really, really well. I've just took it off the wall, I haven't tuned it since yesterday, and it's in tune. Which never happens to any of my other guitars. Um, the pots feel really smooth, absolutely, and definite, you know? It's a definite stop, donk, donk really smooth and it's got the cool tap switch here which is also brass and and then the uh, selector up here uh, tuning heads are really lovely as well they're West Tone branded the guitar was made in the uh, Matsumoku is it the Matsumoku factory in Japan um, so it's good quality these were uh, considered to be the cheaper versions there's I think there's the Thunder 2 Thunder 3 and stuff uh, which were more expensive, but even though these were like more the entry level ones, the quality is really, really lovely. So let's have a listen. So we're on the neck pickup, and it's called Split. And I've got my usual standard sound. It's very strat like uh, with the call, like the call split on. I've got the action really low as well. I mean, uh, the guy that gave it to me. Thank you so much. Um, did a wonderful job of setting up. I've set up to how I like it, a little bit lower than than uh, than he did it. Um, but it is absolutely gorgeous. It's, it plays like butter. And it sustains really well, naturally. So we put a full humbucker. 
It's a bit darker. It's got 500k pots in it. <laughs> So we put it in the middle position, so we've got two humbuckers going. Cool, split that. Very stratty again. And then we'll go on to the bridge, take the cool split out. Cool, split it. You get that kind of pingy, stratty sound. So, v- really, really versatile guitar when it comes to the sounds. You can get that Les Paul kind of kind of humbucky sound, or you can get that those strat tones, which is absolutely perfect for me. And uh, it's so good, I am using it on my recording for my new album. I've recorded two tracks, uh, two songs even, with this guitar, and it sounds amazing. Check it out. So that's basically it for this video. You can pick these up for between three to four hundred pounds second hand. I would highly recommend it if you can find one. If you're in the market for another guitar, of course. Um, thank you very much for donating this to me as well. You know who you are, you legend. Um, and I will be donating two guitars in its place to the charity um, as well. So please do consider subscribing to the channel if you like this kind of thing. There's lots of different kinds of content on my channel including reaction videos and all sorts of things, and gear reviews. Yeah, go check it out. Subscribe. Anyway, nothing more left to say except peace. Till next time, here's the jingle. One, two, three, four. If you like my YouTube show, hit like and comment and get involved. If you dig my vibe, then hit subscribe and never miss an episode. My YouTube show. <laughs> Peace. Till next time.